What's up, YouTube? Welcome to our three garage. As you can see, I am on the Chevy Tahoe. As you can see, I am wiring up my gauges. I am so determined right about now. So determined that I got my vacuum lines ran. Uh, got everything ran nice and neat. We're going to deal with all that later, trying to tuck it away. But everything is looking neat. Uh, look pretty dusty uh, under here. Uh, we got to have to hook this up. Um... Only thing we have to do under here actually get our spark plugs, uh, fuel injectors. But I'm, I'm gonna start the truck without um, the fuel injectors and all that, so I'm gonna have to move this pipe uh, and try to start the truck. I'm gonna have to put 87 in there. But anyway, I'm gonna uh, start the truck without um, the what's the name. So I just want to get the wiring done. What's the wiring stuff done? And I could cust I can uh, customize this battery tray down here. Cause the battery gonna sit right here. Uh, also, I'm gonna just put everything like back together, and uh, we just will go from there. So I got everything ran through nice and neat. Uh, first gauge I'm working on is my AME gauge. I had written everything down except for the AME gauge wiring diagram. I gotta see where where the structures at for which wires which is it like a uh, 12 uh, volt constant or switch and all that we already know all the blacks for each wiring harness is going to be uh, the ground but we just got to see what other wire is going to be which uh the white wire i think we're going to hook it up to this yellow wire that's on the gfb uh, boost gauge and i might mount the thing up here uh, i think it'll look pretty sick but we'll see um, where i go from there this is my before. Don't mind this mess right here or the seat. Just focus on that area and these beautiful gauges. Huh. So guys, moment of truth. So guys, don't mind the mess. It's literally like two in the morning. We finally got our gauges wired up. I have just used a constant and a switch uh, power uh, for my constant power. I put it on this TBC 15 amp uh, fuse. And for my switched, I put it on the ignition zero uh, to 10 amp. And that was uh, pretty fairly easy. I could use the orange wire, uh, especially for the glow shift uh, gauges. I could have used the orange wire, but that's for the headlights. When you turn the headlights on, it would dim um, the control module brightness so it don't be too bright in your uh, face. But we're going to leave that out because I don't know if the headlight uh, switch source is at this panel because I couldn't uh, see any dropout or any voltage come in when I switch uh, the headlights. I'm guessing it's up top. Y'all let me know if it's in this bottom or top. I don't know for the Silverados and Tahoes and all that. But anyway, we're going to have to clean all this up. Um, I'm going to close up. But look at this, man. Well, Y'all can't see it. Do y'all see how crisp that, that come on? And the reason why I went with the uh, glow shift because they look pretty cool. I should have went uh, AME all the way through, but hey, it is what it is. So this is our fuel pressure. This is our trans temp, which we still got to hook up. Um, this is also our air fuel ratio gauge. And this is our boost control gauge. Let me know if I did a good job uh, with it. I know I did good. Uh, it kind of stooped me a little bit, you know, just trying to get the wires through the firewall and all that, but uh, I managed to uh, get it or whatever.
this is all my wiring. Still got to tidy it up, but everything is like um, tidy. We got tidy on the bottom side also. So all of this is going to probably disappear tomorrow. I'm going to have this all cleaned out. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, under the hood, I have to fix one particular thing, which I will see. Under the hood, we just need to get our PCM back in, um, fuel injectors, and I might end up working on this tank back here. So I'm gonna end up cutting in this floor for the fuel pump so I can go in and have it. But I might start the truck um, still um, without it just to see the turbo spool and stuff. I'm gonna have to take the little pipe off the throttle body or whatever. But anyway. I'm happy, I'm content, so we're going to get there. And guys, on that bombshell, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, any tips, comments, man, drop it down below. Uh, if not, it's cool. I'm going to end up figuring it out anyway. But um, let me know what y'all think about the gauges. I think it's pretty cool. And uh, that would be it. Late night action. Two in the morning.